Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us now. Good evening to you, Mayor. Good evening. Good to be with you. Good to be with you, too. And we've, we're going to start with the vaccine rollout here. We've seen some footage in Peel Region with the first ever overnight vaccine clinic. What's your thought on doing something like that here in Hamilton? Well, we're seeing a very stable, uh, reliable increase in our vaccine supply, so that's good news. And, uh, you know, we're ramping up our local vaccine uh, rollout continues. So uh, we have not yet considered a 24-hour clinic. We don't have the vaccine supply just yet. And I, I, I do remind people that Peel and Mississauga and uh, York and Toronto are getting significantly more vaccine because of the higher, higher case counts that they're, they're experiencing. So. As we get more vaccine and more demand to get uh, more into the arms of individuals, we'll certainly look for creative ways of doing that. And uh, there's a possibility that a 24 hour clinic would be uh, would be useful here as well. Turning our attention to the outbreaks happening in apartments here in Hamilton, specifically Rebecca Towers. It's one of the largest outbreaks we've seen in the city, and we're hearing from some tenants who are wondering why the city of Hamilton isn't helping them in the same way other outbreaks have received assistance, kind of like Grace Villa or the Roslyn. Well, actually, they are, and they're uh, they're getting uh, you know the paramedics have been in there uh, testing everyone. Uh, we've uh, provided uh, an opportunity for them to get vaccinated uh, as soon as possible at 7:30 to 8 p.m. on the 14th, 15th, and 16th uh, for all residents in uh, Rebecca Towers as well as the other uh, towers that are experiencing a, a vaccine uh, or a, sorry a, va a COVID-19 uh, outbreak. And we're working to facilitate transportation to the uh, to the vaccination clinics and. So, you know, we're not talking necessarily about senior citizens or folks that are disabled, just residents that are having challenges with COVID and we're trying to get them vaccinated as soon as we can. Last week, we did learn that there's only one working elevator within that apartment building. Has the city done anything to ensure that there are additional elevators that are now in working condition? Uh, we've done our best. Uh, so the elevators are looked after by a provincial agency, the uh, Technical Standards and Safety Act, not administered by the city of Hamilton. Uh, we're required to, uh, buildings here are required to have one operating elevator and they certainly do that and we're encouraging them to get that elevator up and running as soon as they can to help uh, keep uh, people physically separated. Is there any order that public health or the city of Hamilton could put in place? I understand it's a provincial regulation that's looking after the elevator system, but the province also regulates long-term care homes. But the city of Hamilton and public health stepped in and they put Hamilton Health Sciences in charge of Grace Villa, for example. So could the city of Hamilton ensure that this elevator is fixed immediately? No, and again, it's a, it's it's a uh, an issue that lies with the uh, Technical Standards and Safety Act through the province of Ontario. We we have authority to uh, require masking and capacity limits and physical distancing, and we have municipal law enforcement that can uh, help help uh, enforce those uh, physical separations, and we do that uh, throughout the city and have done uh, right from the very beginning. But in terms of the elevator, uh, again, we've encouraged them to uh, to get at it as soon as possible. We uh, municipal law enforcement was actually notified about the elevator in February, and we're uh, we're encouraging the province and the, uh, the the building operator and owner to get at this elevator as soon as possible. Before we let you go, I want to ask about the LRT. We know it's in the hands of City Council now to approve, as the city will be on the hook for the operating costs. When will this vote take place, and are you confident the majority will be in favor? Well, we'll see. And you know what? Uh, we, there's lots of uh, information that's uh, yet to be delivered. Uh, we anticipate that Metrolinx and uh, Infrastructure Ontario and, and representation from the province will be coming to City Council to provide a full explanation of uh, their investment and uh, the expectations of the City of Hamilton. We anticipate that the, uh, the province will come and explain and uh, they'll put forward a memorandum of understanding that we'll need to agree to, and that'll certainly be a critical time for this city council to hopefully uh, put their stamp on this and accept this very generous, uh, very generous offer by the federal and provincial governments to do a no capital requirements from the city of Hamilton LRT line in the city of Hamilton. But no timeline just yet in terms of the provincial presentation. No, I, I expect uh, sometime in early June. Uh, you know, uh, we just had the announcement just now, and I know that they're, uh, they're finalizing some, uh, some, some issues at the province uh, through, uh, through Metrolink. So uh, I hope to hear in the, in the coming days exactly when they'll be coming. Mayor, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you.